Dr. Jackie, can you explain the physiology behind um, how delayed allergies are developed and then how, how do you get rid of them once they've developed? A really important question and a question that is commonly asked and it's a bit complicated to answer. If we look back even just a century, it was very rare for a person to develop any autoimmune condition. Now, autoimmune conditions mean the body is attacking itself, that the immune defense and repair system is on red alert because of invasion, either through the gut or through the skin or through the lungs or somehow. And our innate immune system is actually designed to defend and repair us. In the 21st century, things are very different. Most of us do not have a healthy digestion. Most of us have been exposed to antibiotics or to other medicines or therapies that have compromised the quality of our digestion. We're meant to eat foods that we can digest, assimilate, and eliminate without immune burden. When partially digested immune remnants get through a repair deficient intestinal wall, what we call enteropathy or casually leaky gut syndrome, whatever that is, but when partially digested remnants get into the body because our natural defenses are down, then the invasion begins and the immune system mobilizes against the foreign invader because otherwise the foreign invader would severely harm the body. And how would it harm the body? Well, it would cause chemical reactions that will cause the tissues to dissolve. That's a very bad thing. And occasionally that happens and it's a medical catastrophe. So you need the immune system to meet the foreign invader and recycle it. So the best case is the immune system breaks the immune invader down into its elemental building blocks and builds the body up using those same building blocks. But that's energy intensive, and that means that the person has enough antioxidants and buffering minerals and essential cofactors that the immune defense and repair system doesn't run out of juice. It doesn't run out of energy before the work is done. Too often people are left in a state of internal crying for help for immune repair when the immune system is doing everything it can and is giving as much as it can in the way of defense and repair and is still not keeping up. And so when we see high sensitivity C-reactive protein going up, when we see any of the inducible proteins elevated, uh, tumor necrosis factor, TNF, uh, some of the interleukins like IL-6 or IL-11, <clears throat> even IL-2. These are all molecules that call the immune system into an area that needs repair or more defense. And they only go up in amplitude. They go up in amount, in intensity, in measurability. They go up when the immune system is not delivering all the repair and all the defense that's needed. So there's two important parts here. One, in the 21st century, <clears throat> it's very common to have an immune system that is overly stressed and is adaptive and responding to foreign invaders. And we believe it's really important to comprehensively and with a single specimen of blood, identify what the foods, chemicals, medicines, and toxins are for that individual that are causing the immune system to have a hypersensitivity or delayed allergic reaction. Then we can design a lifestyle program that allows you to rebuild without the burden on the immune system tearing you down. And we've been doing this for decades in outcome studies in type 1 and type 2 diabetes, in fibromyalgia muscle pain, adrenal dysfunction, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, and any of the inflammatory, any of the chronic degenerative, any of the autoimmune conditions um, are those that uh, this approach is designed for. It is a fundamental difference because we look at the physiology of the immune system and we restore its vitality, partly through nutrition, but partly through attitude and activity. And when we combine what you eat and drink with what you think and do, we have the most value-added, most cost-effective approach to restoring, to maintaining, to enhancing health in the 21st century.